Uh, first power line plugged into 12-way adapter strip. I'm just trying all the different scenarios here. It's not designed to be running the power strip. This is an old version. The new ones are, but these old versions are not. So I've trying something new here. So that's my first one. That's plugged into my Mac uh, on, on the bench there, as you can see. And on my second one, I've got another 12 weights plugged into, and that's the main second one that's plugged into. And then that lead goes off to my local area network, which is in that amongst that lot. So two different um, connections. <laughs> and not recommended by TP-Link. Now this is showing it's doing a sort of a test um, across 137 megabits per second across the test uh, copying uh, well, a link between them so that's going over the power line itself so in between this is the power line. So what I'm doing is a straightforward test we're just doing a quick speed test here for inter -access, inter access. so quick run a speed test um, straightforward so far. Normally when I do this Wi-Fi uh, when I do my normal Wi-Fi connecting to my Mac I normally get over around about a 17 meg mark. So we've lost a little bit of speed, but not too much. That might be because we're running off two different extensions. Um, again, I'm going to run different scenarios at this. So this is test one. And then the upload rate is around about the same what I normally would get anyway. So no no, no sort of improvements there and no sort of de de nothing decreased that side. So that's roughly what I get on my uploads, but getting a little bit less on my download speed itself on that side. And as you can say, it's adjusting for speed across those sides itself. So it's just standard internet. I'm just keeping this very simple. Standard internet speeds, test one using <laughs> two 12-way adapters uh, on the same uh, network.